Russia sues Google. Not sues, finds Google. Rob, I want you to show this <laughs> to the audience with the number of zeros. You've never seen a bigger fine than this. Think about the ticket you got. I've had 21 speeding tickets. Biggest one, say $1,000, $2,000. You'd say you got sued. You had to pay $50,000, $100,000, a million dollars. Russia sues. Go to the article, Rob. Just go to Independent. <laughs> Russia sues, finds Google. <laughs> 2.5 decillion, <laughs> that's two and a half trillion, trillion, trillion dollars is what Russia does. That doesn't even make sense. That, well, you know, we're going to see if it does or not. Let me read it to you. A Russian court has fined Google an unprecedented two and a half decillion dollars for allegedly blocking pro-Kremlin YouTube content, a figure d- uh, doubling weekly under Russia law since an initial 2020 fine of 100,000 rubles Following lawsuits from state-affiliated media out- outlets, uh, Sargrant and Ria Fan, uh, since March 2022, Google has restricted ad services in Russia, uh, ceased creating new accounts, and deactivated AdSense accounts, prompting Russian authorities to seize Google's bank accounts, leading uh, Google's Russian subsidiaries to file bankruptcy. Despite these actions, Google free services like YouTube and Search remain Accessible in Russia, Google acknowledged ongoing legal issues with Russia in its latest report stating we do not believe those ongoing legal matters will have a material adverse effect. And Alphabet shares rose over 5% after beating third quarter earnings expectation. Tom, what's this story all about? Okay, so never, never, never be late on your credit card payment in Russia. That's what this (laughs) means. So in March 2022... You know, Google's been restricting these services. But in 2020, they had a fine of 100,000 rubles. And Rob, I don't know how much that is in dollars. I think it can't be more than, what, $5,000 or something. So a, 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 a basic court fines, you know, Google in 2020, 100,000 rubles, except it will double every week. Now, that's a very significant late charge. Yeah. It will double every week. So this has been doubling every week since 2020. And 100,000 became 200,000, 400,000, 800,000, 1.6, 3.2, 6.4. And it gets carried away to point that the fine now is, is more than all the money ever printed in the entire history of the world. Wow. Right? So that, that's what's happened. So, Vinny, if you do get... An opportunity buy that townhouse in the next year or something. Yeah. Don't get a mortgage from a Russian bank and be late on your mortgage. Okay, because so you stop could because so, so. you could own them three times the amount of, of your house. It's just it's just funny. This is what it, it's really all about. Tom, this is, is, there, the, is there any credibility in this? No. The, the, what's happened is it's been doubling, and Google has been using their lawyers to say, "Yeah, man, we want to appeal this. We want to talk about this." And they're like, "Okay, we can try and do that, but we're going to double it again, double it again, double it again." So they basically keep doubling the fine, and it's sitting there becoming this astronomical number. But Google needs to be concerned because the government is going to come down and say, "Hey, man." You do have to pay a fine here, otherwise we're not going to let you back in. So if, when Trump is elected, assuming he's elected, you know, it's going to be, Google's going to be calling Trump saying, hey, we got to figure out this court thing. And Russell's going to be like, well, we want some money, man. You're paying $5 billion. How much was Apple's fine? Multi-billion dollars mm-hmm. to the EU commerce group. You know, Russia, I think, is going to do the same thing. I think Google's going to write a check here. Is it going to be 2.5 decillion or trillion trillion? No, they don't have Will that. it be a billion dollar check? I think it could be a billion dollar check to get back into a very important market. I think this could be a billion dollar check because they, they, are, they are basically saying you were censoring information in our country. Only we can do that. Not you can do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're exactly. the only ones who can so you actually think that Google is going to end up paying a fine here because who's the Google CEO, Sundar Pincha, right? So I think it's for every one U.S. dollar, it's a thousand uh, rubles. Russian rubles. But when they, when they, since March 2022, Google has restricted ad services in Russia. Well, what happened in March of 2022? That's when uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. So there's been so many, you know, Tariffs put on Russia, basically, here it is right here. February of 22, exactly. Uh, Russia invaded Ukraine, a major escalation of Russia, Ukraine, and North started Economic sanctions. Exactly. Start. Economic sanctions out here. So I don't know why would Google end up paying even 
any money to Russia for all the sanctions that are put on Russia? Is this just... Uh, no, that Russia says they broke one of their laws okay. and they put a fine out in the middle of them trying to negotiate it. Then the war breaks out and this keeps doubling. So the doubling is sort of comical, but there still is an open, there's an open action here. And Google has to, to sort it out to, to do, go back to doing business in Russia. And if you don't think they want to do business in Russia when the smoke clears and they want to earn ad revenue and do all that, you're crazy. They absolutely need markets. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if Putin, let's... Uh... So when it comes down to social media companies, Google, Facebook, any of these companies, if you're in a market like the same challenge that Musk is having with Brazil or he's having you know challenges with Venezuela, Maduro, 10 days, nobody has access to X. Those are good examples. What standard must you follow? What standard must you, the platform, follow? And who has more weight? Does the country get to say, you don't do this, we're shutting you down in, my, in our country? Can they do that? Well, that's that's kind of what Brazil did. Well, and and it, then and then Musk said, hey, in the name of free speech, I'm not going to be bullied into doing this or that. And there was a settlement. I don't think he came back off free speech, but there was a settlement there to get the market opened up. But there's no free yeah, speech. But, but, but here's the question. Who has more power, Tom? Google or the country? Well, right now... Google has more power over people to influence the country from the outside, like our U.S. Department of Commerce, Secretary of State. But the people with power is the country. The country can turn it on and off. So why does Russia want Google in Russia? Um, because I, I would imagine that they are going to make money or tax on the Google commerce. Google isn't going to be able to go for free into Russia and collect billions of dollars of ad but revenue. But hear me out where I'm going with the state with this conversation. And I'm not uh, talking to you as if you work for Homeland Security and you have every single answer. I'm just openly talking to see what the motives are. No, you're asking the right questions. Yeah. Do, you think, think. do you think Russia wants Google in Russia as a way to be able to speak to the American audience and the world audience to paint themselves as the innocent, good, caring about their country, people, do you think they need Google in a way to rebuild their brand to the world that they're not the villain? A hundred percent. Okay, so then then that's great because what that does is... Governments will try to manipulate social even as social is earning money off ads. Well, by the way, that's their job. They're supposed to do that. They get, they, and you can call it manipulation. The enemy will call it manipulation. Russia will call it persuasion, okay? The enemy will call it gaslighting. We can say whatever... Uh, Hamas is doing whatever Hezbollah is doing, whatever Venezuela is doing, whatever any they're going to say we're we're our incentive is what we're doing, right? Yeah, like so there is Russia will say it's Pravda, right. our truth. So all I'm saying is Russia needs Google. Russia needs Google. Absolutely. If Russia doesn't have access to Google to YouTube, like we have a channel, Rob. If you go to YouTube, type in Vitim in Russian. Okay. If you go to Vitim in Russian, okay. Um, Type in value tame in Russian. And if you go to it, right, go right there. How many subscribers does it have? 300, 2,000. Go to one of our shorts. Go to one of our shorts and go to the latest one. Go to uh, go to popular. Go to popular. Let's see what you have. What That's reaction. No, no, no. Go to the fifth one to the right. That one right there. Press, press it. Let's hear it. Вчера мы встретились с Бероном Трампом, интересным парнем, сыном Дональда Трампа. Right. Рост Берона превышает 2 метра. Проводить нас до автомобиля предложил Райан Гарсон. That's actually my voice, so good. You can go back. But the point is, you know, in this case, if Google says, fine, no problem. In this case, if Google says, fine, no problem. Russia comes back and says, no. What if Google plays hard? Can you find out how much AdSense... How much money does Google make from Russia? Like, what percentage of their revenue comes from Russia? Let's see how big this number is. I'm actually curious now. What is the revenue Google gets? Alphabet, right? So you have to put Alphabet. There it is. I found a chart. Can we see it? Oh, it dropped dramatically. In a billion of Russian rubies. How much? Rubles. Is that in billions? But look, that's 2021 and then 2022. Wow. So 134 billion rubles rubles and rubles is what one thousand so, so it's one. a billion 
So it's a billion rubles. And 2021, it skyrocketed almost, you know, 60%. Can you find out what the revenue of Google and Russia is in 2023? Revenue, Google, Russia, 2023. I'm not curious what this number is. Oh. No, Russia in 2020 because Google has stopped generating revenue in that country. Google, that's exactly where I was going with this. Now, this they did Got because it. the U.S. government said their sanctions, it. they had to do it. So, so let me read this. Terminating advertising sales, withdrawing internship offers, restricting Google pay for sanction, removing over 7,000 YouTube channels, you can, you can, per, refusing GMS license to domestic manufacturers, massively blocking services for Russian companies. And I'm assuming this happening, right. Okay, so that makes Google's local subsidy in Russia was declared bankruptcy in 2020. Wow. Google also has fined two undecillion rubles, which is probably two and a half decillion for refusing to restore accounts of several. So that's Google has been able to find them. Pro criminal center on media. The fine is larger than estimated total GDP. Google is unlike Google has been fined. This is the one they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Got it. And uh, very... Very interesting. So obviously this has to do with Ukraine and Russia. And Ru U.S. took a Ukraine position, so no one is surprised with this. 